Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Got a great one from Dawkin today. We learned how to do Alone Again. So I, people are letting me know that uh, uh, Don Dawkin recently had his 70th birthday. So I guess this is our little our birthday gift to him. We're going to cover Alone Again. Uh, it's a great track. It's an E-flat standard tuning, but it's slightly sharp on the album. So it's kind of hard to, um, when you're playing along with the album, you should be tuned down a half step. Um, but it's not going to match up. It's kind of somewhere in between uh, standard and E flat. Um, so I I'm just going to do this in E flat because I think that's where it was recorded. And then, you know, whatever happened in the studio <laughs> bumped it up the tuning a little bit. Um, but anyway, we're going to go through the whole track there. That acoustic intro, which I played on electric because I'm, I'm lazy and I don't like switching guitars during lessons. Um, but we're going to go through the whole thing, all the intro, all the riffs, and then. Uh, uh, George Lynch has killed her solo as well, too. And it's one of George's more approachable solos, so hopefully um, you guys will, will check it out. Uh, now, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, ring that notification bell so you know it's a new video. You can really like and comment on the videos. It helps with the whole YouTube algorithm game or whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, if you really like what I do here on YouTube and uh, you want to support it, and uh, also get something for it, join My Guitar Academy. You're gonna see a link to that in the description below. That link will give you a free seven day trial. My Academy contains all my courses. One subscription, you get access to the whole school um, with courses in for complete beginners to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone, you name it. I'm live there every Saturday, usually, uh, with uh, Academy members. We just have a kind of a live stream where I just answer people's questions in real time, so it's a lot of fun. Got a great community, so come and join us. All right, so like I said before, we're tuned down to E flat. With the E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Now, also, if your tuner reads sharps instead of flats, which most a lot of tuners do, um, that the tuning is gonna, you know, same tuning but different way of spelling the notes. So the low E is gonna, well, the sixth string. Let's just say that it's less confusing. D sharp, then to a G sharp, C sharp. F sharp, A sharp, and A D sharp. All right, let's jump into it. So this, uh, this is obviously this on acoustic, this intro, and like kind of in the verses, um, but I'm doing it on a little clean tone here. Um, so it's gonna start around this um, E minor add nine chord kind of that he, he's picking across, <clears throat> and it looks like this. So it's kind of like that, and then that thing on the, the D string is gonna change a little bit. So we're gonna start here with just this uh, E minor add nine. You can hold the full chord, but he's really just kind of using the low E string. Then the fourth fret there on the the D string, open G, open B, open high E. So you can hold that second fret there to get the uh, on the A string if you want, but it's not really used that much. So we start first by hitting the low E string. By the way, I'm gonna call this the low E and not the low E flat or anything, so it's just too confusing. So we're just gonna call it like it's a standard two guitar, but low E, and then you're gonna hit the high E. B, G, down to the D. So. Very cool. And then we have this. So that's gonna go zero, two, three on the A string. Now when you get to that third fret there on the A, go over and grab, you're gonna hold that, but you're gonna go and grab the first fret there on the B. So you're gonna pick the B string then, while you're still holding that note on the A string, then the open G, and then the open D. So look at this. Then you're gonna pick the D again, so that open D is hit twice. And then you're gonna to go to the third fret there on the, it's kinda of into a D chord. You're gonna play the third fret there on the B string, and the second fret there on the G. So we have this. Then you're gonna grab the fourth fret there on the D string. Now the first time you hear him play, he just plays the note by itself and then quickly slides that up to the fifth fret and then starts the riff over again. So it sounds like this. So it kinda, you kinda, when you pick, go that from that on the D chord, go from the B string to the G, and hit that open D and then play that and then that. So. Then it's the same riff again, but a little bit different ending. So 
So now we're kind of moving that note on the D string at the end. So then just go this. We're gonna go pick four, slide up to five, and back down to four. So, so far we have this. Then we do the riff again, it's just picked slightly different on the D chord. So we have this. So that was, now we're not holding, it's, a, it's from a D chord, but it's really a D sus2 that he's working off of. So he doesn't have anything on the high E string. So when you're, when you get to this third time around on the riff, when you get to this D, you're going to hold the same two notes that we were before. Nothing on the high E, but you're going to now pick the high E. You're going to pick from the high E across the top three strings. So that makes it a D sus2 chord. And then the same ending. So. And then the fourth time through is gonna end this intro. All right, so it's kind of like a couple strums at the end. So we're gonna, same beginning. It's just when you pick, get down to the D string the first time, you jump over to a, a G power chord. So this is just a third fret there on the low E, third fret on the B and the high E. So just strum across those. You can be muting the A string uh, with the bottom of your ring, your middle finger there. And the open D and open G are in there. So it, you strum that chord, and then pick across. You really don't. You could, you could use it, put the note on the high string if you want, but you strum the chord, then you pick the, the B and the G. And then we're gonna go to the D chord. And you're really just saying a D power chord, so it's like kind of an open D, G, and the B string. And then it goes to the verse. All right, so now we get to the verse. Now this verse section kind of goes into the pre-chorus. It's a quick little pre-chorus at the end, so I'm gonna kind of put them together because they really kind of make more sense together. Uh, but it's kind of going back and forth between uh, a clean or the acoustic guitar and distorted guitar. Uh, so I'm gonna try my best to mimic that. So it looks like this. And that takes us to the chorus. So it starts with that same uh, kind of E minor nine figure. And then we, so it's kind of like we're starting the same riff that we did in the intro. So it's the same thing done once. And then the second time through, so as you get there uh, to that, you know, letting that note ring there, this whole chord really. Then you kick in the distortion and you play this C power chord here, the third fret of the A. Then that same G power chord we just picked across in the intro. And then that D. So. And then it goes back to clean. So we do that same riff. And when you get to that open D again, you straight from there, you go up and do that fourth fret, slide to five, and back down to four. And then we go back into the distortion. So that's just that power chord, the uh, C power chord at the third fret, then the fifth, and then take it down to the second fret. You're gonna play the power chord. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift the two fingers that are on the D and the G. So it's just the second fret across the A, D, and the G. And then back, put the fingers back down to this. And then back to that C power chord and D power chord. And then that takes us to the chorus, which moves around a little bit more. Now I will say he plays the chorus a little bit differently live. Um, he adds the, the little fills that happen at the very end of the song in the, over the chorus. The little, you know, that, that kind of stuff. He doesn't do it 
and on the actual recording, but he um, live you kind of see him do it every single time they play the chorus. But uh, I'm going to kind of do this, keep this recording, and we're going to cover that section, but it's at the very end, really. Um, so here we go. We're going to jump in this chorus. Looks like this. <laughs> So this first chorus is the shortest one. Uh, there's a little bit, kind of a part of the pre-chorus is used um, in the, the later chorus sections, including the one that's under the solo. Um, well, they kind of extend this out because he's playing a solo over it at least. So, but this first chorus is just kind of, so you start with this three, two, zero on the low E. And you, a few hits on the low E string while you're doing that. Go up here and grab this power chord off the uh, the E power chord off the, the seventh fret of the A. So kind of really just play the uh, seventh fret of the A, ninth of the D, whatever fingers you like to use. So this, then back to a few hits on the low E again, and then we got this. So this is um, seventh fret across the D, G, and the B. But um, before you get there, you're going to have the 8th fret there on the high E string. I'm sorry, on the B string. So you pick those three strings first with the 8 on there, and then resolve it down to the, uh, the full to 7s across all three strings. So this. Sorry. From there, we go to that G power chord, and then the D, and then back to that 3 2 0 to start the rib over. Now here we have a little bit different ending. So that's just the same G, same D. And then it's kind of a, on the upbeat, leaving that, you're gonna hit the open A string. So, I'm uh, oh, sorry, to the open, the open A power chord. And then, that, since we're doing that, we don't have time to do the, to get back to the E. So it just goes, back up. So the first two times through the riff looks like this. So then we start the riff over again. Remember this time without the 3 2 0. Now this ending is going to be just a G to the A. And that's when we get to the So that's just that C power chord to the D, to that third fret to the fifth, to an E minor chord, just a regular E minor chord. And hit the low two strings and then kind of start picking across with this kind of Phillips is basically. And then you just repeat that. And then the third time through a plan to C to D. That's where the first chorus stops. Then we get to the uh, that same acoustic guitar riff, that same familiar. Not acoustic anymore. Uh, so two times playing that riff, and then it gets back to the verse. So it's the same verse as the first verse, then the same pre-chorus, and then we get to the chorus again. Now this chorus, the second chorus, like I said, is a little bit extended at the very end. Um, so it looks like this.
So you can see that at the end, it was just a quick little thing. So after we went, remember the third time to the, well, the first chorus ended right there, about C to D, third time of doing that C to D. Basically, they keep going there, they go down to that same little B, and then you lift up, and then back down, that we did uh, in the pre-chorus earlier, so. And then back to the C to D again. So it's just a little extension that they do on that, um, that, that chorus, the second chorus. Then we get to the solo. So the solo, um, so first I'm gonna show you the chords. Now what the chords um, are very similar to, to the other parts of the song, except like it's very similar to um, the verse and then into the pre-chorus and then into the chorus underneath it. So it's basically a simplified version of that little acoustic riff in the beginning, and then it goes into, um, well, it's just a power chord version, let's just say that. Um, so I'm gonna play through the chords that happen under the solo, um, kind of through to, till that ending, to that last acoustic uh, little thing at the end of the song. So it looks like this. <laughs> So it's a lot of stuff that we've seen before. Um, that whole ending second half of it was just the extended chorus that we had done earlier. So we're not gonna really need to cover that. It's just really kind of the very beginning of the core of the way he's playing the, the rhythm guitar parts underneath the like, first half of the solo. So that's just the E power chord to the C to D. And then back to the E, like that ring. And this one is uh, C, G, D. Okay, so I have this so far. Then the third time through here, we're gonna do this still that same E, C, D. And then we had that kind of extending part that was kind of in the uh, pre-chorus as well. So do this, it goes back to the C and D again. And then down to that B, that little transition on it. And then back to the C to D. And then from there, it's just the uh, extended chorus that we did from before. And that takes us all the way to the ending acoustic thing. So what I'm gonna do for the solo, since the solo, there's the main solo and then the chorus comes back in, um, um, this, the, when the vocals come back in, George is still playing, it's still kind of going off. Uh, so I, I'm doing all of that. So this solo is gonna be the main solo section and then go into the, all the stuff that he's doing for the outro section as well over those riffs that I just played. All right, so here we go. <laughs>
right. Good old George, one of my favorite guitar players of all time. Just absolutely killer guitar style. So let's start here with uh, this first phrase in the main solo. <laughs> So we're going to start here with a uh, slide into the seventh fret there on the A string. Then, so th from there we're going to go the seventh fret kind of heavily palm muted on the low E string to the seventh fret palm muted on the A. Fourth fret there on the D. Then five, back to four. Then go seven, five, three on the A string. So when you get to that third fret there on the A, you're going to jump up here and go. So that's a bend and release at the seventh fret, whole step bend and release at the seventh fret on the D string. Just some vibrato. Then kind of a uh, five, hammer seven, pull back off to five, slide down to four over to five on the A, so all together. They're gonna take it up an octave. So that's kind of a hammer on, starting with the, on the seven to, uh, seven to nine on the G string. And then, so that is gonna be, gonna follow me kind of the first two notes again. So the, the ninth fret on the D and then the ninth on the G. Over to seven on the B, up to eight, back to seven. And then go nine, seven, five on the G. Then jump up here to the 10th fret. Do a whole step bend of the 10th fret on the B. Then you're gonna pick that note again. You're gonna pick that note again as it's bend, and then you're gonna grab the 10th fret on the high E string, and then into another bend of the 10th fret on the B. So this. So I had this. All right, next phrase is this. So we had this. So he had this bend, uh, whole step bend at the 15th fret there on the B, and he kind of releases the bend a, li a little bit and then brings it back up. So, and then you're gonna do a quick little. It sounds like to me like it's a quick little hammer on from 12 to 15 on the B, but barely audible. But it jumps into this. Uh, so that's if you want to do that quick hammer on, I, I'm, I'm, that's what I think is going on there. And then you got this 14th fret um, half step bend and release on the high E string. And then he's gonna do this. As he's coming back down with the note, he's gonna do a play the 12th fret on the high E, hammer 14, pull back off to 12, over to 13 there on the B. So with this. And then jump up here to the 17th fret. Uh, a whole step bend, and then pick it without the bend. And then he kind of goes up into this next race. So that is going to be, you know, slide the B string a little bit, but you get into this big, uh, this whole step bend at the 22nd fret there on the high E string. Then release it and pick it, and then we have this. That's going to be sliding into the 22nd fret there on the on the B over to 19 on the high E string and then pull off 20 to 19 back to that 22nd fret on the B and then back to that 19th fret there on the high E string and then he has this uh, little lick so that's just going to be um, 22, to, I mean 20 to 22 on the B, then 17, uh, I'm sorry, 19 to 20 on the B. So we have this 20 to 22, then 19 to 20, over to uh, 21 on the G string, back to 19 on the B. So 
then back to that 21 on the G, and then a bending into that note from the 17th fret behind it, and then release. So it is. And then we kind of have this run that ends the end of the main solo. So that's just slotting up the, the D string real quick to the 16th fret and grab the 16 on the G, and then we're gonna we're gonna play 15, 17 on the on the B. Then you're gonna play it back to 15, hammer 17, pull off to fit. So the lick is. So kind of, so you're kind of picking the top note, and then just the pattern that's being used here. Pick the top note, and then play, uh, so 15, then hammer back to 17, pull off to 15, and then slide down to the next note in the scale. So that's the, that's the pattern. So we can get it, and we kind of do that same pattern. So that's 15 on the, the top note, then 13, 15, 13. Slide down to 12, and then the same thing here. 13, 12, 13, 12, slide down to 10. So it's that same. And then uh, down here, um, 12, 10, 12, 10, slide down to 8. And then the last one, which is just 10, 8, hammer back on that 10. Pull it off to eight, slide down to seven, and then uh, resolve it down to that uh, the ninth right there on the G. So, so this is when the vocals come in, and it's uh, uh, from there he just kind of continues over that. We have this. So that's uh, sliding from nine to eleven on the G. Then play 10, 12 on the B. Then you kind of hammer 10 to 12, slide back down to 8. So this. And then pull off uh, 10 to 8 on the B. Over to 9 on the G, and back to 8 on the B. Let that note ring. Then we have this next phrase. So that's going to be a slide from 15 to 17, back down to 15 on the B string. And a little descending blues lick, which is, is a 12th fret there on the B string, 15 on the G, slide down to 14, pull off to 12, over to 14 there on the D. So we have and then he's going to uh, really kind of end this solo section by this doing a uh, kind of a bend, a uh, pre-bend of the 22nd fret on the B string, and releasing it there. You can do it up, I know there's other places you can do it, but a lot of times he kind of like this, does it real high and stuff. So, I'm gonna assume he's up there. Uh, and then he gets to this, where he's playing the chorus, he's playing those, he's adding those fills over the chorus that you hear him play a lot throughout the entire, that's how he plays most of the choruses when you see him play it live. But, it's this stuff. All right, so we're going to start here. Some heavy vibrato on these notes, by the way. So. Third fret on the A, then five, then seven. And then, so it's kind of something like we did at the beginning of the solo. So, so that's just that seven on the low E, heavily muted, seven on the A, heavily muted, four, five, four on the D, then seven, five, three. So we've done that before. Then he works his way back up again. Five, seven, and then the same lick. So we got this. Uh, now here, we're not go, gonna go down to that for the third time. We're gonna go an octave higher. So after this, jump over here, 
and do that note in an octave higher, the C, so it's at the fifth fret there on the G. Five, seven, nine. Then we have this. We have that, which is gonna be seven, uh, nine on the D, nine on the G, those two notes kind of muted. And then seven, eight, seven on the B string, then nine, seven, five. So this. Uh, All right, so we do that lick. We basically do that section that again, that five, seven, nine, twice. And then here, he kind of kind of goes with the that change where it goes back to the in the rhythm. So it kind of just goes five, seven, four. Hold that a little bit. Do that three times, and then back to five, seven. And that is it for that chorus. And then real quick at the very end of the song, they go back to the acoustic and do this. So that is that same E minor add nine chord. And you're gonna play the low E string, the D, which you're holding at the fourth fret. And then open G, B, high E, B, G, back down to that note at the fourth fret on the D, and then back to the open E. All right, great tune from a le the greatest era of rock music of all time, from one of the greatest players of all time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.